Hey guys, so I actually have to take off the enclosure for to get access to these hard drives and then we're going to start popping them into the machine. But the first thing I have to do before I even get to that point is I have to use these really fine uh, flathead screwdrivers in order to get in between the little crack that you see that's on one side of the enclosure. And uh, you know, they're, they're actually locked in there. So as I'm propping each one up, it's actually cracking. So I'm just gonna finish this one. So I wanna point out that there was one screw that I took off, which is like right over here. And you actually just have to kind of get something in here to just elevate this off. And I'll do that right now after I set the camera down. See the drivers coming up. I think we've got it. And there you go. 16 terabyte. This is the cool master case. I did remove an old i7 Intel first generation chip and motherboard. Um, someone did ask me a question about what model of uh, the cool master case this is but unfortunately we don't know it's uh it's over 10 years old that's the only thing i do know um and that's pretty much uh i mean it looks pretty clean i mean most most uh enclosures don't look too bad internally unless it's like sitting in water or high humidity but we're gonna start putting in everything as i start opening up and tearing everything apart and of course this is my studio and uh, just want to show you guys there's my warren buffett and steve jobs cool right thank you guys stay with me Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are completed our journey of getting the machine all built out, the hard drives. Um, I extracted the hard drives, which is going to be part of this video and how I took out it, took it out of the enclosures that it came in. And these are 16 terabyte drives. I bought three of them. I cleared out the last batch that Micro Center had. We are up and running right now. So right now I have um, Ubuntu server. I mean, uh, actually, Ubuntu workstation installed. What I'm doing now is I'm formatting the, the 16 terabyte drives and then I'm also just running a app get update and upgrade on the OS before I install the Chia software on it. And hopefully I can start the process of getting it to plot. And um, so far the calculations that we have, um, we have two uh, NVMe uh, drives on here that are going to act as temp drives. Uh, this, so it's one terabyte each. So it's a co combination combined two terabytes of um, uh, two terabytes of NVMe drive space for the temp directory. So as it's plotting, it has uh, two terabytes of space, which we're planning to plot four in parallel. And then obviously we have, and then each one will have a queue behind it. So, uh, so in total, it will be four active at any given time. And the, between the, the 16 terabyte drives that we have across all three, that's gonna manage the, um, hopefully once it's done plotting, that's where it's gonna start sitting and doing its farming. Um, I'm also planning, um, after I get this all set up, I'm also planning to have another workstation um, and, uh, utilizing an old i7 uh, uh, quad core and I'm probably just going to do another plot off of that machine. I'm not going to, it's not going to be uh, up to specs and to doing too much. So we're just going to do one more plot 
and then once that's done, uh, once it's done plotting and the temp, um, once it's ready for farming, I'm actually going to probably transfer it over to this um, this beast that we have. I'm just going to direct you guys over here. This is the, the machine right here. Um, so hopefully that works out for us. Uh, I don't know what to expect. I actually had, we ran into a little problem earlier before. We thought it was the SD card. Um, actually, we thought it was the SSD hard drive, but it wasn't. It was actually the USB stick that I had from Micro Center. For, for whatever reason, this was crashing our entire system after we built it. So we, not thinking of this first, um, luckily it was this the I, we were worried that it was something with one of the new pieces of hardware whether it was a memory or something causing it to fail uh, and the crash report did not detail any of that so that that was um, very uh, gut-wrenching so it luckily it was only the USB stick that was causing this issue so right now um, so I'm gonna finish completing the terabytes uh, the 16 terabyte formatting it uh, pretty much getting rid of all the software that was sitting there from the factory with the whole Seagate you know safe restore stuff um, and of course the I'm not going to keep you guys sitting here watching me update the you know OS of Ubuntu once that's done I will continue on to the process of installing the Chia software so stay with me alright